hold on. I will do that. Oh, we're live. Sorry. Hi, I'm Mrs. Eben, and I'm a personal finance business teacher here at Roz. And I'm Kevin Rundy. I teach social studies here at Roz, and together, me and Mrs. Eben have put together what's called the Reality Store. We've been doing this for about 10 years. A little over. A little over. And this is an experience for our seniors. And uh, we spend the day here in the gym with many of our community members. And the students enter the gym with a paycheck. And then they have to go to the different booths and pay the different bills that you know, everyday people do. What we do is we have a community member who graciously offers the time to create paychecks for the kids based on their career choices. So what we're hoping kids do is explore career opportunities for the next level of schooling and then find out what the entry level pay is and then we divide that by 12, give them a paycheck and then they go through and they make tons of decisions. Our ultimate goal in Reality Store is to make students make decisions on a daily basis. Now, the bad part about this, and it's not bad, they just make a lot of decisions very quickly. It's very stressful. A lot of the kids say that it's sometimes overwhelming because they, they would never do that in real life. But the ultimate goal I have in this program is to get kids to go home and talk to mom and dad. I feel if we can spur in a conversation with parents about decisions they make every day in life, that's gonna benefit the kids in the long run. It's really interesting to see what the children and students um, find most surprising, like daycare expenses. I've, I've had two students today talk to me about if they might be able to give their children up for adoption because they cost too much. Uh, so they're really surprised at how much it costs. Yeah, one of the things I do, I'm upstairs checking kids into the store where they get all their information and packets. One of the things I hear from kids is I'm never having kids. I'm like, you haven't even started yet. And they're like, I don't want kids. And I'm like, well, deal with it. Make, you know, deal with the situation. I mean, life is so many unexpected things that arise and happen that you don't know or don't want to really talk about until they happen. And we kind of expose them to that. And hopefully by exposing them, we help them make better informed decisions down the road and become more involved in their daily lives. Yeah, we really appreciate the community involvement. We've got uh, people from the health field, from auto dealerships, housing, I really appreciate the volunteers a lot because number one, they're giving up a day of work and their bosses are letting them go to come in here and help our students make decisions. They're the experts. We can guide, we can offer any kind of advice we can, but they have the better advice because that's what they do every day in their lives. And for them to give up a half a day to three quarters of a day, it's just, it's awesome because they could be out making more money for their, their company or themselves. So it's wonderful to see our adults in this town come out and help our students.